Hello everyone, it's Crochet by Beb. Welcome to my channel. This video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this heart cardigan. Our heart cardigan is made in a tapestry crochet. You can see the heart shape. It starts with a foundation chainless double crochet, five rows for the hem part, and then you will continue using a chart for the heart design, and then continue half double crochet for the rest of your rows. It's also the same with the sleeve you start with a foundation chainless double crochet and then continue with the chart heart and then all half double crochet in the rest of your rows and then joining all the pieces together and then adding the side and neckline borders you can add also buttons if you would like the cardigan is made to measure so you will need to know how wide or long you want for your cardigan my cardigan has 20 inches wide and 16 inches long and 17.5 inches for my sleeves I use three colors it's up to you what colors you're going to use this is a light worsted acrylic yarn and I use five millimeter hook yarn needle tape measure and scissors all right so before we start please don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the bell button so you will be notified for new video tutorials if you are making this tutorial you can tag me also in my instagram at crochet by Beth. so let's start and enjoy making your cardigan let's start to start we're going to make first the back panel for your back panel you're going to start with the foundation chainless double crochet your foundation chainless double crochet is how wide you want for your cardigan in my back panel I have 76 stitches and it is uh, 20 inches wide this is how wide I want for my cardigan now it is a bit smaller because I use a back post and front post double crochet so it's a bit uh, smaller now because of the stitches but it's a very stretchable so it's not a problem so I'm going to show you 20 stitches for the hem part and then we're going to continue for the heart or this part so I'm going to show you first how to make the foundation chainless double crochet first make a slip knot then chain two then yarn over insert your hook into your first chain then grab a yarn now you have three loops and the hook yarn over pull through one and this is the chain and then yarn over pull through two and then yarn over pull through two so you have now your first double crochet and this side doesn't count as a stitch okay so you're going to start to cut in this stitch again yarn over insert hook into the chain that you made these two loops at the bottom then grab a yarn you have three loops and the hook yarn over pull through one so you made a chain this and then yarn over pull through two and then two you have two double crochet done again yarn over insert hook the chain that you made these two loops at the bottom then grab a yarn pull through one you made again the chain there then two then two three double crochet done then again yarn over insert hook two loops at the bottom yarn over pull through one pull through two then pull through two you have four double crochet again yarn over insert hook the two loops at the bottom grab a yarn pull through one and two and two okay so you just continue making your foundation chain less double crochet at least how wide you want for your cardigan for me i have 76 stitches and 20 inches wide so i'm going to make more at least 20 double crochet just to show you how to make our hem part and this stitch here the chain doesn't count as a stitch okay so you're going to count your double crochet like this one two three four five so you have five double crochets now here so you don't count this chain as a stitch okay so you're going to start here one two three four okay or you're going to count like this 
into the poles of your stitches one two three four five okay so you're going to continue making your foundation chain as double crochet then i'm going to show you the next the back post and front post double crochet right so if you are done with your foundation chain as double crochet at least how wide you want for your cardigan i have only 20 stitches here just to show you for the next row it's also a double crochet but it's a front post and back post double crochet to do that we're going to make a chain two and this chain two doesn't count as a stitch throughout then yarn over so i always make a normal or basic double crochet into the stitches so i'm going to insert my hook into the first stitch and make a double crochet and then in my next stitch or next double crochet i'm going to make a front post double crochet so yarn over front post you're going to insert your hook to the post of this uh, double crochet and grab a yarn then make a double crochet and then another front post into the next stitch this double crochet and another front post so i make it three front posts then three back posts so you have now your three front posts you start with one normal double crochet here and then after your three front posts you're going to make a back post okay yarn over insert your hook at the back of this next double crochet go to the back insert your hook in there and go back into that post like that and then grab a yarn then make your back post double crochet another back post so you're gonna going to make three front posts then three back posts double crochets okay okay you have now three front posts here then three back posts there but we're, i started here normal double crochet okay again after your back post three front posts into your next stitches three front posts then next three back post double crochet okay so you're going to repeat this for your second row three front post then three back post double crochet okay so remember just we started here a normal double crochet so i'm going to end also a normal double crochet here into my last stitch so just continue your front post and back post double crochet here into the last stitch we're going to change color so i'm going to change in this color so it's up to you what color you are using okay it's okay if you don't complete your three front posts or three back posts in your last stitches just like here i only have two front posts so and and i end up here the normal double crochet so it's totally fine okay so now we're going to make a normal double crochet here into our last stitch and then we're going to change our yarn okay, into our last stitch going to make a normal double crochet into the last stitch don't complete your double crochet because we're going to change yarn to finish our last stitch okay we're going to insert our new yarn this color so just hold your new yarn like this and insert Okay, then drop the tail and your white yarn or this color now we're going to make a chain so what we're going to do is we're going to put our yarn down like that and then grab your new yarn to make a chain okay then turn work then drop your two yarn the tail end your previous yarn and then we're going to chain more and then make a normal double crochet into your first stitch yarn over make a double crochet then now here it was a back post now it is a front post because you are now working in the other side so you're going to make this as your front post also okay so make a front post in these three front post double crochet
here we can't carry the tail because we're working in not into the normal stitches because we're working into the post so we can tuck in the tail and then this three it's now back post so you're going to make the a back post here okay so just continue making front post and back post into your stitches you can see if you are facing now this is front post, it was a back post, but now it's front post. Okay, and then into the last stitch, we're going to change yarn again. So I'm going to change in this color, the pink. So it's up to you what color you are using, okay? So continue your front post and back post. Alright, so here into the last stitch, we're going to change yarn. You're going to make a normal double crochet into the last stitch. Then finish your double crochet. Insert your new yarn. Again, you're going to insert your hook under the two loops. And then chain. Then turn work. Then chain one more. And then normal double crochet here into the normal stitch this first stitch and then continue this is front post again because you are now facing it to the other side so now make a front post in this front post double crochet front post double crochet so here you can cut your yarn then weave in later and your white yarn don't cut because we're going to use it again later after our pink yarn so i'm going to show you in this row so i, I have a total of five rows for the hem part this front post and back post double crochet okay so continue your front post and back post double crochet using this color Okay, so here into the last stitch, we're going to make the normal double crochet. So we're going to carry it up the white collar. So we're going to use it for our next row. So yarn over, insert hook into the last stitch together with your white, like that, to carry it up. Then yarn over, pull through two, and then finish with the white yarn, like that. Okay, for the last row of our hem part, we're going to use this color. So I'm going to chain one more and then turn and then double crochet into your first stitch. Then continue your front pose and back pose into your stitches. Then into the last stitch, we don't change yarn because I'm using the same color. So we're going to start now in this part so just continue again your last row for the hem part your front post and back post double crochet okay here this pink you can cut and then we're going to weave in later all right now i'm done the five rows for the hem part now we're going to continue in this part the body part of our back panel so here i make uh, two rows before the heart design here so we're going to make a half double crochet okay so after your last stitch here the normal double crochet you're going to make a chain two chain two again doesn't count as a stitch throughout okay then half double crochet so now i'm counting this first row for this part so only five rows for the hem part so now i'm counting this as my first row for the body part of the back panel okay so here half double crochet first stitch next stitch half double crochet so all into your stitches now it's in the normal stitches okay not in the back post or front post into your normal stitches all half double crochet okay so work your first row half double crochet when you are done your first row all half double crochet then next row all half double crochet also so chain two again then turn into your first stitch half double crochet and then continue half double crochets 
into all your stitches. Alright, so when you are done your second row all half double crochet, now we're going to make the third row which is the part of the heart. So go into the description and find the link in there to get this chart. If you don't know how to read a chart, it's super simple. Just one square is equivalent to half double crochet or whatever stitches you are making. So we're making up double crochet, so one square is one half double crochet. Alright, for example here, now in third row, first we're going to make one, two, three, four stitches in this color. And between our fourth and fifth stitch, we're going to change color in this pink. So you can see the numbers here, this is the number of your stitches. And in these sides, this is the number of your rows. So it's very simple, you just uh, see the numbers, how many stitches in this color, then change in between this color, then continue again in this color, then change again in this color. So I'm going to show you, it's very simple, how to use this chart. Okay, so let's continue. We're going to make a chain 2, doesn't count as a stitch again. And then, based on, uh, on our chart, we're going to make a 4 half double crochet using this color. And between 4th and 5th, we're going to chain. So we're going to insert our pink yarn. Okay? So it's still half double crochet, okay? So half double crochet. So here in our fourth stitch, we don't finish our half double crochet, we're going to insert our pink yarn. So what I am doing is your previous yarn, put in front and hold, insert your new yarn. Then drop the tail and pull a bit. Then continue with your pink, so yarn over, insert into the t stitch, then grab a yarn because we only have one pink in this and then we're going to continue again in this color so we're going to change. So again, put your yarn in front, hold and take your white yarn or whatever color you're using. And then finish your half double crochet. So this tail you're going to carry so less weaving of ends and also the pink yarn. So here we're going to make a 8 in this color and then change again between 13 and 14. We're going to change pink again. Okay? So we're going to make eight of this color you can count your chart how many white you're going to make it's very simple so just carry your tail and the other yarn while working your other color okay so i'm going to change color again so i'm finish your half double crochet put your yarn in front Take your next color and finish your half double crochet. Again, one pink. So I'm going to make only one. And then I'm going to finish by changing because it's only one. Okay. Again, put in front and finish it with this color like that. And then continue again your color your half double crochet in this color all right so i'm done my third row so it's super simple how to change color and how to read the chart 
all right so when you are done your third row now we're going to make the fourth row so as you can see here it's only 40 stitches so you can just refer onto this chart and continue your stitches super easy you can see how many stitches you're going to make between the heart shape all right so our fourth row we're going to make a chain again you're going to insert your yarn under in this to carry up your pink also then chain then turn then chain one more then based on your chart you're going to look in the fourth row in this swatch i have only 20 stitches so just look here I have, I have only 20 stitches and i'm here in the fourth row so there is no pink so i'm going to continue and chains again in this stitch so i'm going to make half double crochet and here i'm going to change yarn so you can see the heart shape there is pink in this and then three stitches for this pink so i'm going to change yarn here so again your previous yarn put it in front and then finish your stitch then continue three colors three stitches in this color and after your three stitches chain yarn and continue in this color okay so it's very simple how to change and how to use the chart Okay, again here I'm going to change color, put this in front, and finish it with the pink, and then continue in this color. It's only three, so we're going to change again, put in front, and finish it in this color, and then continue. So it's very simple how to change color just look at your chart how many in this color and then change in between all right so just continue making your rows using the chart just count your stitches and that color and then change in between and then after you complete this heart after your eighth row you're going to make your ninth and tenth row using only your main color so there is two rows between your next heart and then your eleventh row you're going to start again making the heart using this color so it's very simple just count your stitches and change color in between okay just continue your rows then after your 16th row you complete all the heart and then your 17th row you're going to use your main color only all, all half double crochets i only have 38 rows start here the half double crochet only 38 rows and i have 16 inches length for my back panel it's up to you how long you want you can just continue making more rows using your main color to have a longer back panel okay just a tip for less weaving of ends because we're working three colors just like here we we carry the beginning tail of the pink yarn you just uh, simply carry your yarn or tuck your yarn when making your stitches after your pink yarn you're going to to cut and just tuck or carry your tail of your pink yarn and then insert your next color and then the beginning tail you can just carry between your stitches so it's very simple for less weaving of ends just like here there is no tail or beginning tail in this side only here i'm going to weave because i can tuck or carry because i use a back pose and front pose double crochet so only here you can tuck or weave your carry your yarn 
for less weaving of ends. And one more thing, you can uh, pull a bit your yarn before changing colors just to avoid popping up of your carried yarn. As you can see here, you can see a little bit of the carried yarn. You can pull a bit to tight your stitches but not too tight just to provide a bit of stretch also into your stitches. You can see here, you can see between your stitches if there is a uh, popping out of the carried yarn. Okay, just pull a bit, not too tight just to give also a stretch for your stitches okay so complete your back panel my back panel has a 38 rows and 16 inches long so make more if you want a longer cardigan all right so when you are done your back panel now we're going to start the front panels to make your front panels the measurement of your back panel minus that into one inch for example i have my back panel 20 inches so i minus that into one so 19 inches that is for the gap of the front panels so i have 9.5 in each of the front panels so 9.5 this and then 9.5 for this other side of the front panel to start your front panels it's totally the same we're going to start with a foundation chainless double crochet we start with your uh, main color two row then change in this color and next into the, your next color and then continue with your main color so it's total five rows all also for the hem part then continue with your first row all half double crochet then next row all half double crochet also two rows here before the chart and then continue with the, ch the heart chart and then here just put your front panels into your back panel and then decide how low you want for your neckline in this part so for me i made two row more here before my decrease a total of 18 rows start from here the half double crochet 18 rows and then before my decrease this is now my 19 row so it's up to you how low you want for your neckline now i'm going to show you how to make the decrease all right so when you are done this part now i'm going to show you how i made the decrease there is two way to make a decrease you can uh, skip one stitch or make the two stitches half double crochet together okay to make the decrease you're going to make chain two of course then turn if you want to make a uh, skip and then you can skip that and start your half double crochet here but for me i made my decrease half double crochet together this uh, next two stitches so these i will make a uh, half double crochet two together to make that yarn over insert your hook into the first stitch don't finish your do half double crochet yarn over again then insert into your next stitch then grab a yarn now you have five loops on the hook then finish yarn over all into that five loops now you have the half double crochet two together and then just continue half double crochet into all your stitches in this front panel only in this side you make the decrease okay and then this panel you make only in this side so first make your front panel only the decrease in this side so, okay i'm going to show you how i make the decrease in this side so i'm going to finish first this Okay, here in your last two stitches, you're going to make the half double crochet two together also. And remember, your chain two here doesn't count as your stitch, okay? Don't be confused. So here, this is your last two stitches. As you can see, this is the stitch for this half double crochet two together. So this is your last stitch, okay? To make that, again, yarn over, insert into that stitch. Then don't finish, yarn over, insert into your last stitch. Now you have five loops on the hook and then yarn over all into that five loops and then chain two again and turn and then this stitch this is the stitch for your half double crochet two together from your previous row this to make it half double crochet two together into your next stitch okay then continue again your half double crochet just simply as that 
okay so this is how it look like your half double crochet two together it's also the same in here you can do half double crochet two together and then chain two turn then half on top of your half double crochet two together and then your next is this okay then continue then go back then make half double crochet two together on this side again okay so make your front panas first in this side so make the decrease only in this side then after that make your other side and then only in this side for the decrease if you have a long cardigan and then you reach already the wide for the shoulder part you can continue without decreasing just continue your, your rows straight without decreasing to make it a bit uh, wider the shoulder part okay for example you want your shoulder this wide and you have more rows to make you can make your rows without decreasing so it make it straight here you can so for example here you already reached the desired wide for the shoulder you can just continue straight here without decreasing the rest of your row to finish your front panels okay so make your two front panels and then i'm going to show you how to make the sleeves and just a reminder if you are done with the rows of your front panel just leave a long tail here enough to sew your front and back panels together okay also in this side okay when you are done your front and back panels now decide how wide you want for the sleeves for me i made it the seven inches here and then just double that so this is how wide i want for my sleeves it's up to you if you want a wider sleeve you can make it more wider so double that so i make my sleeves 14 inches wide these are the measurement of my sleeve it's 14 inches wide so to know how many stitches you're going to start for the cuff lay your back panel and put the size you want for your sleeves just lay your tape measure into your back panel and count how many stitches here so for me i got 48 stitches and then minus that 48 stitches for example minus that in 10 stitches so i start my cuff 38 stitches only to make our sleeves the cuff part a bit smaller okay again just lay your back panel and put your tape measure and count your stitches then minus that into 10 to start your cuff for example i got 48 stitches there and start my cuff 38 stitches only so i minus that 10 stitches so i only put 38 stitches for the cuff and then i increase 10 stitches in my first and second row as you can see i increase here i put two half double crochet in one stitch also here two half double crochet in one stitch increase on the side and then continue your hard chart to make the sleeves and then just continue your rows and then decide how long you want for your sleeves so for me this is 17.5 inches for my sleeves also in this it's 17.5 also and i have a total of 43 rows start here from my row one up double crochet 43 rows and this is 17.5 inches including my cuff so it's up to you how long you want for your sleeves okay so you're going to make your cuff first minus 10 stitches the wide you want and then just increase into your first first and second row here just five stitches and then five stitches into your next row and then continue with the chart heart and then make more rows to make it longer your sleeves okay so make two for your sleeve so here doesn't matter if you don't complete also the heart shape so for me i should have a bit here these two stitches here but it's fine for me so i didn't include the other stitches of this color so it's totally up to you you can do that also okay so do your sleeves then we're going to sew the side of the sleeves all right so when you are done your sleeves fold your sleeves into the wrong side out the wrong side out and then you're going to start sewing your sleeves on the side so just make it the mattress stitch just in and out okay so do 
your sewing on both of your sleeves then i'm going to show you how we're going to attach the sleeves into the front and back panels okay all right so when you are done sewing your sleeves now we're going to start sewing the front and back panels together so first put your back panel into the right side out and put your front panels into the right side down so the good sides are now facing together and then we're going now to start sewing the shoulders all right so start sewing your shoulders both shoulders and then i'm going to show you how to add the sleeves and then how to sew the side so just start sewing the shoulders using the long tail you have and just in and out between the loops there is the sun just in and out Alright, so when you are done sewing the shoulders, now we're going to add the sleeves. Put your sleeves uh, into the right side. So now in the right side, this is sleeves. And then still in the wrong side, out your front and back panels. Now we're going to insert our sleeve inside the panels. So this is how it look like. So it's still the front and back panels, wrong side out. And your sleeves in the right side out already. And then just sandwich it and remember your sewing stitch from your sleeves should be in here facing down here in this side so this is my sewing stitch you can see and also in this side and then just sandwich it inside of your panels just like that just put inside and also here just put inside and then we're going to start sewing first in this side Alright, to know how many rows you're going to sew for your sleeves, just count from your shoulder, just count until here on the underarm. For example, I have 19 rows, count also 19 rows from the top down here, also 19 rows, and then just put a marker to hold the pieces, you will not lose, okay? So first, we're going to do in this side, and then also in the other side. Okay, we're going to start here, sewing the front panels and the side of the sleeves here and then just go around and continue here at the back and then we're going to meet here your stitches and then continue sewing the sides okay so just start here going around and then continue on the side also in the other side just do like that count your rows it should be 19 rows also it's the same from your other side and then first sew in this part and then go back the round and then continue on the side okay so we're going to attach the sleeves just use a long tail of your yarn and your yarn needle and then i'm going to show you when i'm done sewing the parts okay so this is now our cardigan you are done attaching your sleeves now we're going now to make the side borders including the neckline so i'm going to show you it's the same like our hem and cuff it's front post and back post the wall crochet first you're going to attach your yarn here corner and then make a chain two and then double crochet on the side you can see there is a smaller space there you can just uh, put your hook insert your hook and make double crochet it's totally the same make uh, first double crochet and the sides and then for the next row it's front post and back post double crochet okay so here I'm going to show you, so just put double crochet, what I'm going to do is in each row I put the double crochet, you can see here this is your first row and then just put double crochet in there, 
and then your second row put double crochet so just put double crochet in each, each row and then here you can put in each row also you can see the distance of your double crochet and then go around here and then finish your double crochet here at the other side of the quarter then when you are done your all double crochet around just insert your next color or whatever color you want to put or you can copy also you can do next color is the same color you can do that just chain two then turn work and then go back going around here and then you, if you want to change color you can do that also okay it's totally the same how we made the hem and the cups first the double crochet and then next row is three front posts and then three back posts double crochets and then next row we change colors it's up to you what color you're going to put or what in your next row okay so do put all double crochets here all the way around and then chain two turn work and then go back doing front post and back post double crochet it's the same three front post and three back post here i change i put uh, one double crochet in the row and one double crochet between the row because it's a bit uh, there is a gap between if i only put one double crochet in each row there is a big gap so i just put like this you can see the distance your double crochet so i put double crochet in this row and in the middle and one in the next row okay so you can do that also but if you are done putting all double crochet around if you want to change color now you can do that also so now i'm going to change color after my last stitch here going to change color and then continue my double crochet so it's the same you're going to start with a normal double crochet here in the first stitch and then front pose three front pose double crochet and then three back pose double crochet okay so just do that it's totally the same with our hem part and cups part okay continue your front post and back post double crochet all the way around then when you reach your last stitch here you can change also into your next color and then do again another round it's up to you how many rows you want to put so i'm going to show you when i'm done my side borders and the neckline okay so do that it's totally the same how to do the front post and back post okay all right i'm done my side and neckline borders i made it five rows rows as you can see it matches to my hem and cups if you would like you can add buttons you can try it on here if it can pass through in between of your stitches the buttons you're going to use i just put this uh, stitch marker here these stitch markers soon will be available in my etsy shop it's very cute all right so when you are done your side and neckline borders weave all your ends and you are done with your cardigan all right hope you enjoyed making your cardigan please don't forget to tag me in my instagram at crochet by Beb if you want to show your finished cardigan and i can share it also in my story in my instagram and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for supporting my channel and see you again next time happy crochet everyone bye